What's up everyone, it's Rob Stark, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to use Jesse. And before I start, here's a quick table of contents if you guys wanna jump around to the video or you wanna to skip to certain parts. Jesse is a great utility and support brawler who has decent damage, health, and range with a great super that can easily help control the map. She's one of the best brawlers in smash and grab and is good in bounty while not being very good in showdown, heist, or brawl ball. I'll go more into how to use Jessie in each of those events later in the video. I'm just gonna list her stats and her turret stats on the side of the video and you guys can view them as you want, but I would like to note that Jessie has a fairly slow reload, good range, and while her shot doesn't do that much damage, it does bounce off enemies when it hits them and then it'll head towards the next closest enemy. Her shot also bounces off of boxes, other turrets like Jesse's or Pam's, Bears, and the Safe and Heist. And it can seek up to at least three targets before it sizzles out. And then as far as her elixir, I would probably just upgrade them fairly evenly. It's honestly not super important with Jesse, but I might upgrade her super a little more before upgrading her health or attack. For shooting, Jesse's attack is one of the slower projectile speeds compared to other brawlers. It's definitely possible to dodge her shots. So you want to fire her shots at where you think the enemy is going to go, not where they are, unless they're running straight towards you or away from you. Since Jesse doesn't do a lot of individual damage, it's best to try and aim at the easy targets to hit and just try to get as many hits as possible as opposed to staying on an enemy and going for a kill, unless the enemy is low on health. You're really just trying to build up your super as much as you can and get as many turrets on the field as possible. And never fire more than two shots in a row. And honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend firing two shots in a row very often either, unless it's a really easy shot or they're following an obvious pass. Since Jesse's shots move pretty slow, if you fire multiple shots in a row, it's pretty likely that you're gonna miss the later ones, um, unless you get lucky. It's better to fire them individually and then adjust the aim on each shot to get more accurate shots. Okay, now let's talk about turret strategy. So as far as placing Jesse's turret, one thing you wanna do is keep in mind the enemy team composition. For example, if they don't have a Dynamic or a Barley, typically you're gonna to wanna to place the turret somewhere near the middle of the map and behind a wall. The main point is to try and make it difficult for the enemy to shoot it, hard for them to shoot it when it's behind a wall, but you still want the turret to be far enough up the map and in the middle enough that it can still hit enemies when they pass through. If they do have a dynamite or a barley, I probably wouldn't place it on the enemy's half of the map because otherwise the dynamite or barley can kill it pretty quickly. Try to place it in a grassy spot that forces the enemy to get in your range if they want to attack the turret. If the enemy composition has almost no range, for example, if they have an El Primo and a Bull or a Mortis, you might consider placing the turret out in the open near the middle, where they can't sneak up on it and it's hard for them to reach. This is probably the only time I'd recommend placing a turret out in the open. And here's my opinion on panic turrets. You know, when you go, oh, because you got surprised and are now close to death, and in an effort to prevent that, you throw your turret. Yeah, don't do it almost ever, except in Showdown when you pretty much have no choice there. But panic turrets very rarely prevent your death, and then it's almost always in a spot that's not really gonna be able to hit many people after that, and it's in a spot that's probably easy to kill too. If you can place it in a spot that's a good spot to place a turret, then sure, that's fine. But otherwise, the only time I'd really recommend a panic turret is if you're potentially about to lose the game. One thing about turrets is make sure not to waste too much time trying to get your turret down. If you're just sitting around with your super, any hit you get won't be charging up your next turret. But at the same time, don't rush to place it down if you can't get it in a decent spot. Also keep in mind, turrets last indefinitely as long as they have health. So don't throw down your next turret until your current one is dead, unless your turret that's up right now is in a position where it's not really being very useful. Okay, now let's go over tips for each event type. Let's start with Smash and Grab. Smash and Grab is arguably Jesse's best game mode where she can control the map with her turret and chain shots on enemies going for gems or trying to push up the map. My best tip for Jesse in Smash and Grab 
is that oftentimes you can get easy hits by firing at gems when you think enemies might go for them. She used to be one of the better gem carriers, but with the health increase of Brock, Colt, Dynamite, and Ricochet, they've become pretty much just as viable as Jessie. She's still a decent gem carry though, it's fine to pick up gems with her. If those brawlers I just mentioned, if their health gets reduced again, she'll become one of the better options as a gem carrier. One thing I would highly recommend is try and save a turret for when you reach countdown. It's an easy tactic to help you secure the win. Just place it as you're retreating back to the spawn and it forces the enemy to either waste shots on it or take lots of damage from it. As far as good compositions with Jesse in Smash and Grab, well Jesse doesn't deal a lot of individual damage, so I'd recommend pairing her with at least one other brawler who can. Try and have at least one brawler who can act super aggressive and independent, while the other helps out and supports Jesse. There are lots of good combos with Jesse, but one of my favorites is Jesse, Poco, and then Shelly or Nita. Now let's go over Bounty. Jesse is pretty good in Bounty, although I wouldn't place her among the very top brawlers here. She's still a solid support character that with her turret can do a ton of damage though. One thing is don't use her in Snake Prairie, there's just too much grass for her to really be that effective there. And similar to at the end of the match in Smash and Grab, in Bounty, it's also helpful to save a turret for the end of the match, it'll definitely help secure the win. And as far as the good team comps with Jesse and Bounty, she works pretty well with another long range brawler like a Colt, Ricochet, Piper, or Brock, and then almost any aggressive or support brawler like a Shelly, Nita, or a Barley or a Dynamite. Now for Heist. Jesse's really not very good here. Don't use Jesse in Heist. I really would not recommend it. She just doesn't do enough individual damage. It's hard for her to deal a ton of damage to the safe. And it's difficult for a turret to get much value. It's too easy for enemies to shoot it fast. And it just dies too fast in general. And it's not going to get a lot of damage. And then as far as Showdown, Jesse isn't very good here either. For basically the same reason she's not very good in Heist. It's hard for her to win any 1v1 unless she has her turret up and her opponent doesn't run away from her and her turret. And then for a turret to get any continued value, she has to stay there instead of trying to get more elixir. If you do use Jesse in Showdown, just try to avoid fights and chip at enemies from a distance to try and build up her super for emergencies. Depending on how much elixir you push in her, you can probably push her to around 100 to 150 in Showdown, maybe a little more. And then as far as Brawl Ball, yeah, Jessie isn't very good here either, although she is a little better here than in Showdown or Heist. With the high amount of El Primos and Bulls and Mortises and Brawl Ball, it's hard for Jessie to get many kills since they have so much health and there are a lot of obstacles or grass for enemies to escape behind. Her turret can be used well defensively though, almost as a sort of stopper. Also I have heard that if her turret is placed near the goal, it can actually stop the ball. So that is one thing I would recommend if you do use her in Brawl Ball. Alright, now let's go over how Jesse matches up with every brawler. I'm going to group up some of them together just because they're very similar. Let's start out with El Primo and Bull. Now these are never going to be easy kills, especially if they use their super to get up next to you, but they are great brawlers to try and charge up your super with. They're typically pretty easy to hit, just keep your distance versus them, and try to have a teammate help you out if they start getting close to you. Also, make sure to use your turret as it's hard for them to attack both you and your turret and it's a good way to just chop them down. Then for Mortis, Mortis is probably the closest thing to a hard counter for Jesse, but he's horrible versus her turret. If you find yourself face to face with a Mortis, try to stay by your turret if you have one, or if not, run towards a teammate to try and help you out. Don't shoot many shots at a Mortis throughout the game, as he's often able to just dodge her shots fairly easily. And then Shelly, Tara, and Nita, Jesse can kill these brawlers over an extended period of time or if they have low health, but make sure to keep your distance, basically at the edge of her range, or else they'll be able to out damage you fairly easily. And if Nita spawns a bear, make sure to spam shots off for easy potential bounce shots. And then for Dynamite and Barley, Jesse can take these out if they're out in the open, but otherwise it's probably not worth engaging them. They can out damage Jesse fairly easily and they can kill her turret pretty fast. For Spike, if you keep your range versus Spike, you should be able to kill him. However, if he gets up close to you, he's gonna be able to kill Jesse pretty fast. Versus Crow, with Crow's faster movement speed, it's often not worth shooting many shots at Crow unless you can predict where he's going or he has low health. Typically, just try and avoid Crow. 
Poco. Poco isn't a big threat to Jessie unless Jessie has low health. She does outrange Poco, so just keep out of his range and you out damage him or force a super. And then Jessie versus Jessie. Well, it's honestly just a matter of predicting shots and who can dodge the others better. If the other Jesse puts up a turret, spam shots at it as soon as possible to try and kill it fast and get potential bounce shots. And on the same side, try not to put your turret in the spot that gives their Jesse easy shots, as that'll be a lot of potential bounce shots. Versus Bo, this isn't an easy matchup for Jesse, but neither can kill the other very fast. Consider going for a few shots to help build up your super, and then retreat behind cover and healing up once you take a bit of damage. Versus Pam, Pam is an easy target for Jessie to help build up her super, especially when Pam's healing turret is up. Often people will crump up near the turret and it allows for lots of easy bounce shots and lots of value. Don't get too aggressive as Pam though, as she has a lot of health and it's going to be very hard for Jessie to take her down and Pam can generally out damage Jessie. And then versus Colt, Ricochet, Brock, and Piper, I'm going to group them all up. Versus them, you're going to want to run in zigzags or side to side to try and avoid their shots. And then if you run straight back or forwards, it's probably going to be very likely that you'll be hit. Generally versus them, you just want to go for chip shots to build up your super and just weaken them for your teammates to kill. It's going to be difficult for Jesse to outdamage them on her own. Be very careful of putting your turret in places that they can shoot easily or else they're going to kill that turret very fast. Now let's go over countering Jesse. Pay attention to her shots as oftentimes you can dodge them. And be very careful when you're close to another teammate that you don't get hit with Jesse's shots as that gives her easy bounce shots. Also at the same time, beware of your teammate being hit and be ready to avoid the bounce shot if they do get hit by Jesse. When she puts up a turret, you want to kill it as soon as possible. If you can kill it fast, it's going to get almost no value. But if you do ignore her turret and you go for a kill, you'll just be helping her build up her next turret. And if your team has a Mortis or a Crow, try to have them stick on the Jesse. Also, if you have a Bull or El Primo, they can kill Jesse very easily if they can sneak up on her. Alright everyone, those are all my tips on how to use Jesse. Leave a comment below on what brawl you guys want me to do a guide on next. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and catch you next time.